Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shilu's Updates. Approval Plan Drawing PDF This is the Approval Plan. Approval Plan can be printed in A2 size paper. So the plan should be drawn according to A2 size paper. All dimensions in Approval Plan should be in meter. In this place, title should be written clearly. Plan showing the proposed construction of residential building in register survey number. Here your survey number should be mentioned correctly. Of your village name, which town panchayat, at which place and near which school or college or which hospital you have to mention here. Next name of the owner. Here the name of the owner should be mentioned here. Son of name and here at which place. In this video I have told about how to get this approval plan in PDF format. So don't skip this video and watch until last. Next let's see about how to arrange drawings in approval plan. Ground floor plan should be at this corner. Next to ground floor plan, first floor plan should be there. Above to this ground floor plan, elevation should be drawn. Next to elevation, sectional drawing should be shown. Above to this elevation, plan of septic tank should be shown in this place. Next to this septic tank plan, Section of septic tank should be shown here. Next, rainwater harvesting pit. Next to this, solar system plan should be mentioned. And here you can see about staircase details and foundation details. In staircase details, you have to show about thickness of RCC, waste slab, size of rice and thread. Here, the RCC waste slab thickness is 12 cm that is 4.724 inches. Thread is 25 cm that is 9.843 inches. Rice is 15 cm that is 6 inches. Here you have to mention the brickwork. This is about staircase details. Next to this Foundation detail should be mentioned. In foundation details, details about steel bar, that is about diameter of steel bar, number of steel bars, number of stirrups, then mention proposed ground level line like this. This is the proposed ground level line. Here PCC ratio is 1 is to 4 is to 8 which is 15 centimeter thickness. RCC ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 4. In this side you have RCC thickness also. This is grade beam which is in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 and the thickness of grade beam is 35 centimeter. Here two size dia bars are used. Four numbers of 16 mm dia bar and Two numbers of 12 mm dia bar. Total height is 2.35 meter. This is all about foundation details. Next to this site plan should be shown. This is the site plan. And the site plan is drawn in the ratio of 1 is to 400. Below to this site plan you can see reference which means Specifications of main door, windows and ventilators are provided here. Here you can see about area statement. Site area is mentioned in cents in bracket. The area is mentioned in airs. Plinth area. Ground floor, first floor, total area, corporate area. It is mentioned in meter square in bracket. The value is mentioned in square feet. 
most important one is scale of this drawing you have to mention the scale of this drawing it should be mentioned correctly the total drawing is drawn in the scale of 1 is to 100 the site map is drawn in the scale of 1 is to 400 then mentioning direction is also most important now let's see about one by one in detail as I have told you already this approved plan has been drawn in meters this is ground floor plan and this is the first floor plan first let's see about this ground floor plan through these steps only you are going to enter inside this house when you enter main door there is a living room here is a bedroom with attached toilet in left side you can see a kitchen with storeroom and a utility room and here is a master bedroom with attached toilet when you go through this stairs you can reach the first floor this is the first floor pan when you reach here you can see three bedrooms one two and three in that one bedroom is provided with attached toilet these two bedrooms has a common toilet and here is a open terrace the sunshade has been shown in dotted lines these are all about ground floor plan and first floor plan and here you have the elevation from front view of this house what are all you could view and that is this elevation this is the ground floor elevation up to this ground floor elevation and above this one is first floor elevation next section should be shown here in ground floor plan and in first floor plan the section has been cut in this place in same place only it has been cut let's start from this foundation above to this foundation existing ground level line is drawn above this existing ground level line RCC retaining wall is drawn this is the RCC retaining wall then earth filling is done distance between this existing ground level line and flow level is 2.8 meter above to this existing ground level line grade beam this is the grade beam is mentioned size of grade beam is 0.23 into 0.30 in the ratio of about 1 is to 2 is to 4 above to this grade beam column is provided which is in the size of about 0.23 into 0.35 meter distance between this existing ground level and proposed ground level is 2.35 meter then the distance between this proposed ground level and flow level is 0.45 meter this is the floor finishing level then the lintel beam is provided here next roof beam is provided here roof slab thickness 12 cm also mentioned in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 the distance between floor level and roof level is 3.05 meter this is ground floor this is first floor here also lintel level sunshade is provided then RCC roof slab at last parapet wall is provided here height of parapet wall provided here is 0.9 meter now I think you have no doubt in this section plan next we have to see about septic tank plan the size of septic tank varies from house to house similarly septic tank plan also varies from house to house so this plan is provided only for this house septic tank is basically an underground structure made of concrete 
fiber glass or plastic through which domestic sewage water is stored for primary treatment generally household septic tank are made of capacity to store 4000 to 7500 liters or 1000 to 2000 gallons of effluent or semi solid sludge one gallon means 3.785 liter for three bedroom house minimum 1000 gallon capacity of septic tank is sufficient septic tank should have the capacity to retain the household waste water for at least 3 days minimum depth of septic tank should not be less than 1.8 meter and sludge settle down per person is 30 liters per year about this septic tank i have already posted a separate interesting animation video i have provided that video link in description box please check it if you want number of bedrooms in the house and number of people living there is the most important key factors that determines the dimensions of septic tank their size and capacity for two bedroom house 500 gallon septic tank is enough 500 gallon septic tank means dimensions are length 79 inches width 45 inches depth 56 inches for three bedroom house 1000 gallon septic tank is enough 1000 gallon septic tank means dimensions are length 8 feet 2 inches width 5 feet 8 inches depth 5 feet 1 inches for four bedroom house 1250 gallon septic tank is enough 1250 gallon septic tank means dimensions are length 8 feet 6 inches width 5 feet 8 inches and depth 5 feet 9 inches for five bedrooms 1500 gallon septic tank is enough 1500 gallon septic tank means dimensions are length 10 feet 9 inches width 5 feet 5 inches and depth 6 feet if number of user increases then the size of septic tank should also be increased minimum septic tank capacity is about 2000 liter in normal residential building if you cut the septic tank absolutely at center then the section of the septic tank will be exactly like this here there is an inlet and outlet is provided 300 cm ac vent pipe water seal is provided here rcc slab is also provided then the hood covered with mosquito net in india for commercial and residential building septic tank size are kept according to the availability of space next here is rain water harvesting pit here at the base brick bat next to this sand filling then dr packing at top rcc cover slab next to this rain water harvesting pit solar system plant is provided here this is solar glass and this is what heat radiation from sun this is the site plan you can get your site plan from your vao village administrative officer and make drawing like this in this area only proposed building is going to be constructed so it is marked here here it is must to mention that at which place septic tank and rainwater harvesting tank is placed then dimensions also mentioned here here nearby house with house door number also marked here also nearby house is marked here in between if there is any bridge it is also 
marked here. Nearby road is marked with the road width. See here, you can see the road is marked with the road width. This is all about site plan. Next to this, you can see reference. In reference, the specifications about main door and doors, windows, kitchen window, ventilator, all the sizes is given here. This is area statement. This plan site area is 15 cents, which is 6 air. Plinth area of this house is for ground floor 120.51 meter square. That is 1296.68 square feet. First floor is about 97.05 meter square. That is 1044.26 square feet. Total area is 217.56 meter square. That is 2340.95 square feet. Carpet area is about 140.94 meter square. That is 1516.51 square feet. This is color index. The plan approval officer while verifying your plan with the site plan they will mark here. That is if the road drawn in this site plan is correct then the officer will mark in a color in this box. That is he has verified the road mentioned in this site plan is correct. So he will mark in a color in this box. The same color he will mark in this road. Similarly for proposed building also for this proposed building also the concern officer will check your plan and mark this proposed building that is if he mark in this this building in a green color then he will mark the same color in this same green color in this proposed building box similarly for this boundary and bridge this box is only for office use here the signature of owner they should sign here and here the surveyor will write all the details all diameter is in meter it should be mentioned here and this is the scale of this drawing and that's it this is all about approval plan you have two options to get this approval plan pdf just do any one of these options the first option to get this approval plan free pdf is ask 20 of your friends or family members to subscribe this channel civil engineering shilos updates send that 20 subscribed screenshots to our whatsapp number 8300613011 or to our mail id shilos updates at gmail.com the step 3 is after verifying 20 new subscribers we will send the approval plan free pdf to your whatsapp number or to your mail id note some of you are sending the same screenshots repeatedly many times to get free pdf to those people we won't send free pdf to you only if you follow all of the above steps truly we will send free pdf to you the second option to get this approval plan pdf is just pay rupees 499 through gpay or phone pay or paytm the number is 8300613011 and the name is kartikeyan send the payment screenshot to whatsapp number 8300613011 after verifying the payment we will send you the approval plan pdf to your whatsapp number or to your email id i hope this video is helpful to you if you like this video kindly subscribe civil engineering shilos updates thank you next video is about 
how to download and install AutoCAD 2023. Stay tuned.